everyone this is Priyanka from memory keepers today we are gonna make um, a slider envelope I'll just show you a sample so this was my first make so it opens up like this and when you do this you can write a message or even a picture of the baby as well over here and then it goes back in even this piece can have a picture and then this is the back when you open this up you can keep your money here cash here and this is a space for even more pictures and journaling Alright, so I'm making another version of it using different papers and a bit of a different design to it. So let's just start. So for first, I have already done some homework. So first you'll need a piece of paper that will measure 8.5 by 8 inches. And then you're going to score at the half inch size. You're going to score at half inch and then 4.5. I have already scored everything. And then on the 8 inch side, I'm going to score just at half inch from here till here all right and then you'll just fold fold it in half and just fold this line as well then burnish it after that what you will do is just this this line would be like full and you'll cut this half part and you can just taper the corners from this side and similarly taper these as well and then we're gonna cut a frame of 3 4 inch on this part all right where this half inch was there on that part you're gonna score cut a window of 3 4 inch all right like so and then just fold this line as well and then burnish it Right. after that we need a pattern paper cut out for this piece so I have just cut out this piece for here okay like so after that for the for the slider thing we need another cardstock that will measure seven inches by two and a half and on the seven inch side you're gonna score at one fourth inch And then three three fourth inch and then six one fourth okay then just fold this towards your side towards you and then fold this towards the back and then again this will go like this and then we're gonna take here like this and then just burnish this after that you can also put tape over here but I'm gonna just um, apply glue take this and the side where this is open okay on that side you're gonna stick this part on top of this making sure that you are right inside this window okay don't overlap it this piece should be inside the window and then just stick it if it's coming out you can trim it all right and then after that we need something to pull this so for that um, we need another cardstock this measures 6 3 4 inches by 3 3 4 and then there's no need for scoring on this and I have also cut a pattern paper for this okay you can uh, cut the pattern paper 1 4 inch less and before that um, I have also cut these circles uh, from my uh, one, four, one one fourth inch circle punch two circles and I have make a hole so that it will be easier to pull something out like so so either you can hide it here in the back or you can just put it on the front as well so that it's visible it's totally your choice nice look to it all right so let it just dry and then you can remove the tape packing from here this piece fold it like this and insert this piece inside your envelope and lining this 
keeping this in the center like this okay I'm lining this piece maybe we can just do this from the back it will be much easier okay so keeping it in the center and then I will just align this edge with this and stick it like so okay and then you can just test your thing so if I pull this up yeah look how easy is this right okay perfect now we can just seal our envelope so I'll just put glue here you can use tape as well okay and then just close it okay and then I'm gonna stick this as well make sure that you when you're sticking this there's an equal border on all the sides and this circle thing is on the top all right like this now i have got the pattern paper for this as well so this was the remaining window from the this paper like this so i'm just gonna fold it keep it here and then i'm gonna make a pencil mark so um so that i know where to score here this is it okay so now i will score on this Will be easier when I close this so I'm just gonna put glue Okay, and then you can also put some piece of remaining any pattern paper on top of this so there I go okay now for the base of the envelope for the closure we need some magnets and for the base we need a um, Cardstock that will measure seven and a half by eight inches. Eight inch side you're gonna score at four inch and fold it in half like so. Okay, so this is gonna get stuck or yeah. So first I'll just put some magnets. So like this is my top. Here now I have got a pattern paper. This measures eight and a half by three inches, and I'm gonna make a pocket out of it. So I'm gonna score at half inch and eight inch, and on the three inch side I'm gonna score at two and a half, just like this. And then I'll cut on the diagonal these intersections like a diagonal like this to make a pocket. this will be stuck over here to keep the cash and if you have any lace die um, border die so you can cut make a like a die cut out of it and stick on the top it will just enhance the look or you can also skip it 
so this will be our pocket to keep the cash and now for this part I have cut out this and I'm gonna stick it here so this measures one and a half inches by seven three eighths So that's our envelope. And for the top here, I'm gonna put this pattern paper. Okay, now let's do the embellishing over here. Okay, now I have cut this piece it's from the paper collection, Little Munchkin, and then I have cut one strip of paper. This measures one inch by three seven eight. And then I'm just gonna glue on two sides here and here, and I'm gonna put it in the end, like the bottom, and stick it like so. And then I have this um, what you call it, rectangular die cut. And then I'm going to stick this like so here in the center. Okay, not like a completely flat, but just a little bit. And then this sentiment is there, dream big little girl. And I'm going to stick this here in the center. So this will, you know, act as a slider thing where it goes inside and gives it a bit of a illusion. Okay. and then this one more die cut is there and I'm gonna stick it here on top so when you are sticking something on the top just you know remember that this should not go out of this area this 3 4 inch okay so this will just stick like so okay now I'll just put it here like so and then we're gonna work on this area so everything any any embellishment that you do is gonna be on on top of this so this piece I'm gonna stick with foam tape okay sticking this make sure you leave a little bit space uh, on here because this will go like this and this everything you stick is to be on on top of this um, this line okay it our envelope is ready so when you pull this up it goes like so and then you can write a message over here and it goes right back in and then this is the back so when you open this okay so when you open this up like so so you have a space for cash and also any message or anything that you like okay and also you can decorate here if you want you can leave it as it is so this is the slider envelope i hope you guys like it if you do then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with more videos more tutorials for the envelopes see you